Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Solution here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution to question 6 from the May 2011 PUA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up here and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so they start off by telling us that 50 housewives in the Goodlands community started a buying cooperative. On May 1st, 2009, they each paid a $6 registration fee and agreed that each member would buy 25 shares at $10 each. The first thing they want us to do is to prepare the journal entries to record the monies collected for registration fees and share purchase. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my general journal. But with general journal entries, the debit entries come first, followed by the credit entries, which are indented relative to the debit entries. Now, the first entry we're going to put is the registration fee. So we have 50 housewives paying $6 each. 50 by 6 is $300. So that's going to go into cash. Cash is an asset. To record an increase in an asset, you have to debit the asset account. So you're going to see that across here in the general journal. Cash, 300 under the debit column. The corresponding credit is where did the cash come from? What did it come in from? It came in from registration fees. So that account is going to be credited. Registration fees under the credit side, and you're going to see the indentation here. And of course, you put in a very short narrative to record the receipt of registration fees of $6 each from 50 members. The next thing they want us to record is the share purchase. Now, 50 housewives agreed that each member would buy 25 shares at $10 each. So we're going to multi multiply 50 by 25 by 10. Right? I think that gives us 12500 So the debit, again, is going to go to cash because money is coming in. Cash is an asset. If money is coming in, cash is increasing. And to record an increase in an asset, you have to debit the asset account. Where is it coming from? It's coming from the ordinary shares or share capital. And share capital is a capital account. It's increasing. And to record an increase in capital, you have to credit. And again, the debit entry came first, the credit entry came second, and it's indented relative to the debit entry. And of course, please put your narration or narrative to record the issue of 25 shares at $10 each to each of 50 members. Okay, that's it for part A. Let's take a look at part B. Okay, so the information reads, at the end of the second year of operation, total share capital was $25,000. The following figures were extracted from the books as at April 30th, 2011. All right, so we have a surplus here of 108900 an undistributed profit. That's like they retain earnings. So cooperatives are non-profit organizations, so they have slightly different terminology. They use surplus instead of profit and, well, undistributed surplus instead of retained earnings. But we should know at this point in time what they mean. Okay, what else do they tell us? The Board of Management has proposed the following. So we have a transfer of 20% to the education fund, a transfer of 50%, 15%, sorry, to commence a health benefit plan reserve fund. Then we have to deal with members are to receive 25% refund on the total patronage sales of 180,000 for the year ended April 30th, 2011, and a payment of 10% of share value as dividends. Okay, and of course, what we have to prepare is the appropriation account for Goodlands Housewives Cooperative for the year ended 30th, April 2011. So, of course, please be sure to head up your statements properly. Goodlands Housewives Cooperative, appropriation account for the year ended April 30th, 2011. All right, so the first item to put in is the surplus of 108900 Now, we are going to appropriate that surplus. So, you're going to see less appropriation. So, the first thing will be the transfer of 20% of that surplus to the education fund. So, you find 20% of that figure and you get 21780 going to the education fund. Next. We have a transfer of 15% to commence a health benefit plan reserve fund. So again, you find 15% of the 108,900, you get 16,335. Next, we have members receiving 25% refund on the total patronage sales of 180,000. So this is one of the benefits of joining a buying cooperative. You get back a refund as part of your rewards for being a member. It's almost like, almost like dividends, but of course, dividends are separate and apart. But it's money you get back for buying at that particular store or from buying from the corporate directly. So we're simply going to find 25% of 180,000, which I believe is 45,000. And the last item is the payment of 10% of share value as dividends. So if we remember a bit further up in the little opening sentence, they gave it, told us that at the end of the second year, which is now, 
total share capital was $25,000. So we're just going to find 10% of that figure, which is $2,500. We're going to add up all the appropriations, again, okay, $85,615. We're going to subtract that from the surplus for the year of $108,900 to get the undistributed surplus for the current year of $23,285. Now, this is where the undistributed profit brought forward is going to come in. We're going to add that here, 48006 and we're going to get a new total or a new undistributed surplus carried forward of 71885 Okay, that's it for part B. Let's take a look at part C. So they're telling us that Mrs. Susan Cunningham, a cooperative member who now owns 42 shares, has receipts totaling 3845 in respect of her purchases from the Goodlands Housewives Cooperative during the last year. Okay, so what that means is that when she spent money at the cooperative, for the whole year, it totaled 3845 right? Her receipts are like the things we call bills, right? So the receipts total that. So remember, in the appropriation account, we gave that people 25% of what they spent. So she's going to get that. And then she also has 42 shares, which means she's also going to get some dividends. Now, for part one, it says, calculate the amount of the patronage refund due to Mrs. Cunningham. So the payment to Mrs. Cunningham will include a patronage refund of... $961.25, which is simply 25% of the amount she spent at the cooperative. The next part of this item here asks us to calculate the total amount that should be paid to her by the cooperative out of this year's surplus. Now, the total amount is the sum of the patronage refund and her dividends. Now, she owns 42 shares, each at $10 each. And we're finding 10% of that value, which will actually just be $42, right? So 10, 10 multiplied by 42 is 420, 10% of which is just 42. When we add 961 to 42, sorry, 961, 25 to 42, we simply get $1,003.25. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question six from the May 2011 POA paper two. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some useful POA handouts. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.